Hi everyone, I'm Hales and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to show you the 17 things that I say during February and March. I will include the pattern details but if you want more information about sizing and that kind of thing I will list everything down in the description box below so don't forget to check that out. So I, these are going to be in no particular order, I will show you make number one. This is the Ada sweatshirt by German company Schnitzchen Patterns in size XL. I made the shorter length sweatshirt option and this is French Terry and I use the one stripe option because for the sleeve there are different colour blocking options with this pattern and as suggested I use ribbing for the neckband and cuffs but didn't have enough for the bottom band. This is Simplicity K8529 in collaboration with Sew House 7 and my VD with two inches of added length and I did have to recut the neckband with one inch of extra length because it was too, too short. This is the last here, I made four of these. This is by Grainline Studio. I made one and they're all made out of one meter of cotton jersey in size 12 grading to a 14 and I shortened them by one inch at the waist and they're all in the scoop neck option with short sleeves. This is the Marlow sweater by True Bias. I originally made this in size 14 but it was too big so I did run the underarms through my overlocker to try and trim some of it down but you'll see as I turn around that there is quite a lot of excess across those back shoulders. So a 14 actually comes up bigger than this but this is how it looks after I've chopped it and it really is the kind of thing you want to wear if it's cold or you're not feeling well. This is the Marlow sweater again but this time I made it in size 10 and graded to a 12 at the hips. I basted the bands on first with my sewing machine to stop it from stretching out and as you can see there's not as much excess going on there as in the grey version so it fits a lot better. I may I use wooden buttons that I got from eBay and the pattern does say that they should be 30 millimetres which I did use for this one but then my sewing machine would only sew a 28 millimetre buttonhole so next time I would size down on the buttons because I had to snip into the buttonhole so that I, that button could go through. I'm quite happy with the overall fit of this one and this is from the longer of the two length options available. This is the fuel skirt by Closet Core Patterns made in an olive needle cord in size 14. I shortened it by one inch at the shortening lines and the facing is on the bias so it did stretch out so I did have to do some unpicking fiddling around to get that to go flat. This has a two button closure. These are the Chloe jeans by Style Sew Me made in size 18 and stretch cotton. I cut one inch off the front crotch length, scooped out the back, cut several inches off the sides, shortened the leg by one inch. I do have a playlist for my trousers so please check that out for more details about these. So this is the Felicia pattern by Moo Patterns, which is a free PDF made in size 16, 18. I shortened the neckband by one centimetre because it just came up too high on me. This is made in a French terry. I hemmed it all on my sewing machine and it uses just 1.5 metres of fabric. This is Birda 7058 from the Petite range made in size 22. I added one inch to the centre front top and reduced the front crotch by one inch. I made facings into a waistband by making two of them and flipping them up, which I then interfaced and added belt loops. This has got drag lines at the back, which I still haven't worked out and mastered trouser fitting. So again, I would refer you to that playlist. This is the I Am Julie skirt by I Am Patterns. It does have facings, which I top stitched down and it has back pleats and I, I sewed those down as well because they were sticking out. This is made in a size 50. I have put catch stitches in to hold that so it closes with one button and the tie at the other side and this was made in a navy needle cord. This is the ruffle sleeve top without the ruffle by Peppermint Magazine. It's a free pattern and I made it in size F and extended the length by two inches because all the photos I saw of this shows it as quite a cropped length. And with the ruffle on the sleeve, I just felt on me being five foot three, it was a bit overwhelming and it was just a bit too long. So I just left it off. I took in the side seams by one inch, but as you can see, it is quite an oversized top. So you, I would say you definitely need to size down. There are facings, they do, the facings do sit quite flat, but as you can see around the top at half, it is just very loose and very big on me. So I definitely need to grade down on that one. This is Cypress Dress by Mood Fabrics. This is a free pattern and it was one of the first of my frugal frocks dresses. I have a whole video dedicated to this. So I will put a link in the description box below. I made a size 12, 14 grading to a 16, 18 at the waist. 
I did have to put an extra side panel in because I overfitted it and do some various alterations which I go through in that video. This is the Florence dress by Sew so Over It. I picked this up in the Black Friday sales last year. This has a mandarin collar and it has buttons down to the waist and then an elastic waist. I made sure that the elastic was a little bit longer than what the pattern suggests so that if I raise my arms when I put them down the dress hangs down nicely. I did originally muzzle in this dress and the waistband was rising up at the front so I cut it in this fabric here which is a viscose and I did a one inch full bust adjustment. I also did a half inch narrow shoulder adjustment but I think I should have done the full inch narrow shoulder adjustment because it's not sitting completely right. This is made in a size 14 and I added belt loops on either side of the waist because I felt that it just needed the belt just to sort of cinch in but it's a pattern doesn't include it and you can wear it with or without but I like to have a belt loop to hold a belt in place if I'm wearing it along with a dress but overall I'm quite happy with it. This is the second of my frugal frocks dress if you don't know what I was talking about I do have a video all about that and it was an Instagram challenge to make a dress using fabric you had for using a free pattern. Now this is the Stitch Sisters Caftan and it's a blog post tutorial which gives basically rectangles cut out according to your size. You then sew those rectangles together and it gives you ties which really cinch you in at the waist and gives it shaping and all the other pieces as well. I did shorten the length of the V so it wasn't as low because I'm 5'3". I am short waisted so I thought it would fall even lower on me. It has side splits. I don't have any shoes on so I've got nothing posh to show you um, down at the bottom. This is the Lady McElroy fabric and I hope that if you have fabric that you consider precious that you follow what I've done and just realise no fabric should be precious, we've spent money on that fabric, it should not be languishing in a drawer, so dig that out, cut into it, what's the worst that can happen? If it turns out a complete disaster, it's no different to if you just never really look at it in a drawer. So please join me in my next video over here for more sewing inspiration.